Hello everybody, a quick demonstration here of how to run a simple 3 plus 2 part 3 CAM Assist. So, CAM Assist is a download tool that you can integrate into your software of choice. It's currently available in Fusion 360, but it's coming soon to Master CAM as same as NX. So, one thing to know, in CAM Assist, the user still defies the setup. So you report your work coded, you set your part model, you set your stock, and you select your post process and so on. Once you have your setup defined, it's then time to open up the CAM Assist icon. So we hit the CAM Assist icon, this brings us to our basic general setup page. Select your tool database, select your material database, and then also you can select some basic parameters of the machine, your type of RPM range, your tool settings, and that kind of thing. With that, you've got two options, 3 axis and 3 plus 2. Um, 3 plus 2 has just been released, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a user-defined mode. X, Y, and Z is okay to simple parts, but user defined is my preferred option because it gives me the option to choose what direction I want the roughing to come from and what direction I want finishing to come from. So with that turned on, turn this off. So same direction for roughing, same direction for finishing. I want that turned off because I want a differential in the, the directions I rough and finish from. So for my roughing, uh, rough from the top, rough from the left, rough from the right. That's going to cover all bases of the part for roughing without doing anything that I don't need it to. For my finishing, finish from the top, finish from the left, finish from the right. But also, I'm going to finish from the angled faces because I want the machine to tip up and make that face perpendicular to the drill so that it can drill the holes. So that's why it's handy to have the option to split up the directions for roughing and finishing. Avoidance geometry, this is a really handy feature, so for example what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this model. Now that model basically represents the bottom of the stock and it's going to stop the tools going underneath the part. And the work holding security, this is a really good feature. What it basically does is that if your work holding is really rigid and you have it on excellent, it will allow you to use the biggest tools that you have in your tool database. If you're not so confident in your work holding, you can turn it down and then it begins to limit the size of tooling that it will use. So for the moment, we're in the Lang Vice, we're quite confident it's a solid work holding setup, so we're going to turn it up to excellent. So tool use. At the moment, Cam Assist is linked up to your tool database. It will utilize your tools, your tool assemblies, and your cutting parameters. What you can, however, do is basically control what cutting parameters you want it to use. So for example, with this end mill here, if I didn't want this end mill to finish for whatever reason, all I have to do is turn off the finishing parameters. Then it won't use that end mill to finish. So, advanced. So, what we've got here is options for what type of tool paths we want to use. Base milling, finishing, hole making, deburring. If you want to use it, turn it on. If you don't want to use it, turn it off. The next option is geometry. This is basically how canvas this is going to handle errors. So, fail. Procedure errors or attempt to fix, whatever you prefer as a user. Machine full part, I don't know of many circumstances where you wouldn't want it to do that. Hole patching, it will automatically patch the holes to stop it roughing out holes. Um, and then your stock to leave. You can control your radial stock to leave, your axial stock to leave, have them the same or have them different, it's up to you. Finishing parameters, so basically what you're going to do here is dictate what um, freeform strategies you're going to use for your fusion. So it defaults to contour 3D, but as a user, if you prefer a scallop or sleeve and shallow, you can set that. So a couple of options down here. The first one I like to think is a bit of a production option. Use two tools for flat areas. If you've got a really big pocket, but a small corner radiuses, you're not always going to want to use a small tool to finish the whole pocket floor because you're going to add excessive cycle time to the machining. So what this will do, it will allow you to use a bigger tool to finish the floor, but then a smaller tool to go in a rest machine, the corners. So it allows two tools to finish it, to finish the floor. Generate operations for partially machinable flat areas. What this basically means, if you've only got a 10 mil tool, but you've got a, you've got a floor that has like a, a three mil corner rest, it will use the smallest tool that it can to finish the floor, and then basically it will leave the corner radius unmachined. So it's going to use the smallest tool it can, but it's going to only partially machine the floor. There's a couple of options for deburring. So you've got the option between chamfer million and ball mill. I'm going to stick to chamfer million for this. So with them setups done, 
what I'm now going to do is hit run. So take notice of the time of 11 minutes 42. I hit run. Now Cam Assist begins to generate my program. Now, one thing that's important to know is that there's no preset macro database here. I mean, obviously with good software, uh, with good feature recognition capabilities and good macro databases that have been set by machinists, you can still program parts very fast, but you have to do the legwork with having a skilled machinist setting the macros in the first place. With Cam Assist, it is using AI technology to generate the toolpath. You, do, you download the plugin, integrate into your software, and it will generate new toolpath without any preset macro database. So as you can see here, spending a couple of minutes, if that, generating the program. Now, what we have is a well-structured 3 plus 2 program. All the strategies are put into subfolders, so it's nice and neat. So if you're facing, you're roughing, you're flat finishing, you're wall finishing, you're hole making, you're free from your deburring. It's all broken down into subfolders. So it's easy to understand the program, easy to go in and make edits if you have to. So that's less than two minutes of hitting cam assist run to having a fast turnaround program that we're going to be able to get the machine running with.